And now we're a different service for the homeless is underway. Today marks the one week opening of the Catholic Community Services uh, Casa de Respiro. The Medical Respite Center for the Homeless offers post-hospital services. KGO 9's Jacqueline Aguilar has more. It's a slow and steady start at Casa de Respiro. This medical respite center for the homeless has just one patient so far. Casa de Respiro, this is Peggy. How can I help you? A total of 50 beds are available for patients leaving the hospital who need housing and support with aftercare. With one client so far, the health navigators and respite team at Casa de Respiro are eager for that number to grow. If we did get multiple calls and multiple intakes, you know, we were all supporting each other here. We all will, you know, take the reins and making sure needs are met as well as, you know, um, the clients getting the best care as possible. The last time I was at Casa de Respiro, they told me their intake process could take about 48 hours. So I asked if that timeline was still holding true. The center says they have at least three patients who might enter medical respite with them this week. So far, so good. Um, we still are learning some things. Um, going to go pick up somebody from the hospital is in a quick process, so that's something that we learned also to, you know, uh, make sure we have a time block because the discharge can be a little lengthy. Health navigators have a referral call with future clients, giving them an opportunity to share what they might need. This in effort to set clients up for success after leaving their stay. What are some of the things that they want to work on uh, while they're here at the center? Uh, that being housing, um, securing food stamps or SSI or um, even their um, birth certificates. Casa de Respiro says they're looking into a sponsorship opportunity for their beds. Details will be on kega9.com. Reporting from the south side off of Michigan Street and Palo Verde Road, Jacqueline Aguilar, Kega 9.